Welcome back. Ginger, chili, cayenne pepper, garlic, salt, black pepper, holy smoke, and paprika. So next I am going to show you the smoke fish that I am going to use. One day I'm going to do a smoke fish recipe for you all on this channel. But for now, let's just cook this smoke fish that I have here. What I'm going to do firstly, I am going to put it in some buttermilk. This is very well seasoned before it was smoked. And I didn't want it too dry. So in my buttermilk, I just added some black pepper and some oregano and a little bit of salt. I placed that into a container and I left it overnight so it will soak into the fish properly and you don't want to use a soft fish for smoking it must be a tough fish so the next day after I have smoked my fish with all of the seasonings that was added to the flour I'm going to put the entire fish into the flour and I'm going to put it back into my buttermilk the buttermilk is homemade. I have that recipe on my channel. Or you can use some whole milk and a tablespoon of white vinegar, a simple version. So I did this a couple of times because I want a nice crispy crust on my fish. And then we are going to put it into our preheating pan not too much oil i am going to use my infused lemon oil and making sure that the oil is ready and i'm going to cook this fish on each side for two minutes then i'm going to remove it let it cool down because remember this fish is already cooked all right because we smoked this fish it's already cooked we're just looking for a nice crust so i'm going to mince this up as you're seeing there and then i am going to chop some onion some rosemary and some freshly picked pimento from my tree i'm going to use some tomato ketchup you don't need to you can add tomato paste it all depends once my onions and sweet pepper is cooked into my infused oil I'm going to add the fish and one to two tablespoon of tomato ketchup cook it in and when it's done I am going to add a tablespoon of freshly grated ginger now I am going to cook my roti I am going to leave a link for that also make sure that you follow the, ing the ingredients at the direction to making the perfect sada roti and while you're there checking out that sada roti recipe don't forget to subscribe to her channel i am going to share my recipe with you and also another youtuber trinidad youtuber i am also going to leave her link for her sada roti above so once my roti has swollen perfectly as you're seeing here i'm going to remove it and I'm going to place my fish and enjoy this breakfast. As I said, the link for the roti, I would have my link and also another Trinidadian YouTuber on how to make a good sada roti, thin and very airy and soft and delicious. All right, so once my roti is finished, and the last thing you saw was just add some ginger and I let that sit while the roti was cooking and then I'm going to place it into my freshly cooked sada roti and enjoy listen naman this thing was so enjoyable the smoke the smokiness of the fish and then we fried it and we, so we had a nice crunchy crust on that fish and that ginger at the end we're not cooking the ginger into it but we after we cook all of the onions and the rosemary and everything is infused in our lemon oil and we cook everything together 
We take off the fire and let that sit with the ginger. So by the time the roti was finished, the ginger had properly well infused in our fish. Thanks for watching.